Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. In today's episode, we go to Millbrook, Alabama to a place called Jackson Lake Island. In today's video, we privately tour a movie set of the movie Big Fish. We get to see a lot of goats, even baby ones. We try something new called a pizza bowl, which wasn't that great. And my van springs a leak again. We got so many exciting things in this episode, so let's jump right in. If you want to see the food review, it's here. To the movie set, here and if you just want to go with the goats and my van lake it's right here okay i finally made it into alabama and you might be wondering why are you so excited if you remember or saw this video then you'll know that i was trying to get to a place called jackson lake island when i was in alabama a year ago during that time there was a lot of heavy rains in alabama and the road to get to jackson lake island was flooded so nobody was able to get in i am headed to florida where it's warm but i wanted to take a little detour over to jackson lake island to check it out i am very excited to get over there but first i want to grab some dinner because once i get on the island i don't want to drive out again so i found a place called marco's pizza and i'm on their website right now and they have something called a pizza bowl which sounds pretty good so i think i'll just get that Good, how are you? I'm making up late. All right. <laughs> you gonna camp with us tonight? Yes. Good. How many folks are we need? Just me. You by yourself? With that big old camper? Yep, just me. <laughs> Traveling down through the world? Pretty much. You're good. Thank you. Yeah, $10. And what's your name? Allison. A-L-L-I-S-O-N. Thank you very much. Okay, so this Marco pizza, it said crustless pizza bowl. I'm assuming that it's crust on the bottom, but not on the sides. But I took a quick peek and it looks like there's no crust at all on this thing. So now I stopped at Little Caesars to grab some crazy bread just in case. Put those all wrapped up. I can't, ow, mosquito. Bell peppers, green bell peppers and tomatoes on this thing. But it's pretty big. It was $7.99. Oh, it is just cheese and vegetables. I thought crustless meant like the, the outer edge. I would not have paid $8 for cheese and vegetables, no. Between the $3 crazy bread and the $8 pizza, $11, no. I think the best part of a pizza is the crust. What do you guys think is the best part of a pizza? The flavor is like a three, it's just okay. The service was excellent. They were so nice in there. I give them a four. And then the price, not for that, no. So I'm gonna give the price, I'll give it a three and a half because it is pretty big. So three and a half snack bags for Marco's Pizza. I didn't really love that very much because it's just like a blob of cheese with vegetables. But, oh, oh, what's this behind me? Ta-da, you know I had to do it. I had to get something sweet. Ooh, what? I was not ready. They're called Cine Squares. Oh boy. And it comes with the icing, all like warm and whatnot. Let's give this one a try. Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. Now, this thing was five bucks, which is a pretty good price for a big giant cinnamon roll situation. Delicious. That pizza was a real bummer, but you know what's not a bummer? Being part of the snack pack. All you gotta do, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and throw a like on this video. Good morning. Let's see the view. Oh, gorgeous. Fresh, clean air. It's a very overcasty morning, but I love it.
Big Fish is a 2003 American fantasy drama film directed by Tim Burton and is based on the 1998 novel of the same name by Daniel Wallace. The film tells a story of a frustrated son who tries to distinguish fact from fiction in his dying father's life. That's a reading from Wikipedia. If you haven't done so already, I recommend watching Big Fish because I'm going to give a couple little spoilers through this journey through the town of Spectre. Okay, so at Will Bloom's wedding party in the year 2000, his father Edward recalls the day Will was born, claiming he caught an enormous catfish using his wedding ring as bait. Will, having heard these stories all his life, believes them to be lies and has a falling out with his dad. Three years later, Edward is stricken with cancer. So Will and his pregnant wife, Josephine, returns to the town of Ashton, Alabama to spend time with his father. He talks about how he was a famous sportsman and his ambition made him leave his hometown. So he sets out into the world and joins up with a misunderstood giant named Carl. Edward and Carl find a fork in the road and they decide to travel down separate paths. Edward follows the path through a swamp and discovers a secret town called Spectre, which is where we are right now. All the local people there are very cheery, welcoming, and warm. And they claim that they were expecting him and they knew he was coming. There he befriends the mayor's daughter, Jenny, who's just a child. However, Edward decides that he can't stay in Spectre and he has to keep going, but he does promise Jenny that one day he will return. Edward and Carl reunite and the story continues, so you just have to watch the movie. But let's get back to the present. Well, the present for the movie, at least. So Edward's son, Will, investigates the truth behind his father's crazy tales, and he travels to Spectre on his own. There he meets an older Jenny, who explains that Edward rescued the town from bankruptcy by buying it at an auction and rebuilt it. Will returns home, but learns Edward has had a stroke. When Edward wakes up, he's unable to speak, but a satisfied Edward dies, knowing Will finally understands his love for storytelling, even if it seems like fiction. Like fiction. At the funeral, Will and Josephine are surprised when all the people from Edward's stories come to the service, though each one is slightly less impressive as the stories were told, they are still there and loved his dad. Will finally understands his father's love of life and passes his dad's stories on to his own newborn son. The end. The town of Spectre as you see it now is not inhabited by any civilians and was created to look abandoned for the final scenes. Although the insides of many of the houses are not furnished, they do have proper flooring and walls. The outside of the houses are decorated in a way that intentionally look broken or decayed. A few years after filming concluded, some buildings began to collapse. When the owners attempted to clear the debris, sparks caused a fire that went across the road and caught other buildings on fire. So the town's commercial district was destroyed in the fire. And eventually, the character Jenny, her house was torn down due to flooding hazards. Goats can often be seen wandering around in a tribe near the abandoned set. They were raised on the island with plenty of tourism and they have been domesticated and comfortably walk around people. Although Jackson Lake Island is the home of the abandoned town of Spectre, there are so many other things to do on this island, including boating, fishing, there's restrooms, you can camp, you can barbecue, take walks, or just chill and watch the wildlife. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
So I wake up to this beautiful morning rain on this beautiful lake and I look over and my effing leak is back <sighs> all over my bed and the whole corner is soaked. So I got this towel and it's still dripping a little bit. So I've been going outside in the rain trying to fix this stupid leak. So I had a pool noodle because I was fixing something under my sink. So I shoved it in here. And you can see all the JB Weld that I put in here. But I think what's happening now is the water is dripping down into this gutter. And then I think it's, there's too much gap in this door. So it's dripping in and then down. I don't know. I, I'm just, this leak is the equivalent to my air mattress always deflating in my, when I was living in my car. This is becoming like so annoying. It's supposed to rain all day today, but at least I have a beautiful view. I guess this is the rainy day gathering spot for the goats. I don't see any little ones though. Oh, there's the littles. Hi, little one. Hi. Hello. Smart little goats getting out of the rain. While I'm out here getting drenched, I need to get back to my van. Oh, it's really coming down now. Okay, I gotta go now. There are also a few full-time camping spots or if you just want to stay for a week or a month you can do that too back to where we started from the entrance i'm very sad to leave jackson lake island it's been one of the best experiences i've ever had i recommend everybody to come here because it's wonderful Snack time.